Are we ready to commit ourselves to hard work? Are we ready to surrender our desire for personal gain in order to ensure that there is prosperity for all? These are questions I would leave in the minds of everybody in this room. These are questions I would leave in the minds especially of leaders. For me personally, I can say that I have lost a father, I have lost a friend, but most importantly, I've also lost a mentor. Because if there's one thing that we can say about Kenneth Matiba, which is something that we can't say about many of his generation, he wasn't intimidated by youth. He was willing to nurture, to grow, to mentor young people. I saw King Angi here being introduced to speak on behalf of the youth. <laughs> <laughs> but I think now, King Angi, we should be mentoring the youth behind us. <laughs> <clears throat> because truly, that is a sign of leadership. Leadership is not scared of handing over, of training, of teaching, of motivating others to be better than they are. And I think that is one great lesson, especially for those of us now who are our age. Let us mentor a new generation of committed, young, dedicated Kenyans who can live up to the ideals of this great man lying before us. I don't want to speak for long. We have heard his history, we know him, we will miss him, Kenya will miss him, but we shall never forget him. May God bless you, and may God bless Kenya. Thank you very much. Please take your seats.